Okay, Annie's getting ready to tell me what to do. He put, she put me at this station. Now, actually, I am not the cook. Annie is the cook. But you're learning how to do it. I'm learning how to do it. And this Annie is um, a mixer. Tell me what this is. Oh, pastry cutter. Pastry cutter. So I'm gonna do something with this. Okay, there's a little salt. Okay, she already put flour in this bowl. And what else did you put in this bowl in? Um, that little bit of salt, and I'm gonna put a pinch of sugar. She put flour, salt, pinch of sugar, pinch, that was just a pinch. And I'm gonna do some mixing with this thing here. This is, these are our dogs, <coughs> Huck and Lily, and they're kind of, they'll make some noise every now and then and run around. So that's what you're hearing, our Huck and Lily. Hang that right, Huck. Now when I do pie crust, I do half and half shortening and butter. Half and half shortening and butter. And How much of each, this Annie? Calls for two thirds cup plus two tablespoons. So that's five and a third tablespoons of butter plus two. So that'll be seven. Seven tablespoons. Third. Now is this salted butter or unsalted? Oh, butter. unsalted. I always use unsalted butter. Unsalted butter. Real butter, though. Yeah, yeah, unsalted. yeah. Real butter. Mm -hmm. Okay. Not one, not two, that three, stuff. Okay. Five, six, seven. Now, y'all have to see this. Annie took, watch, look at this. Annie put together, um, so Annie, show them how you put two halves well, together. Well, I, I just had two halves. And so I, I was trying to measure according to the labels on the outside of the butter. You see that the butter has, you know, little tablespoon markings oh. on it. So I wanted to get about the right amount. The amount really is not critical. Okay. Okay. All right. And um, in order to cut the butter in more efficiently, I'm cutting it up before we put it in here. Okay. okay. All right, so we're putting the butter in here. Okay, let me get a picture of us putting the butter. There you go. Putting the butter in the flour and the sugar and the salt mixture. Okay. All right. And this little piece just can go back in the refrigerator. And Deborah is going to demonstrate cutting in. Cutting in. on the butter into the flour. Now, Annie, I don't know what that means. I don't know what cutting in means. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay, wait. Okay. This is the utensil you use. Here is the mixture. You can just see the little clumps of butter just kind of sitting on the top. Yeah, I got it. Okay, I see okay, it. Okay, what you do is you, you push down and twist just a little. Okay. With the cutter. And you just do that over and over and over hmm. until you get it about the size of peas. Okay. Peas? Mm -hmm. Little uh, English peas. Little English peas. Um, hmm. Little teeny ones. Okay. Or it could be lady peas, you know, that size. Okay. But you do that. And Debo's going to take over so she can learn how to, the technique. Okay. And you just every so often, if it gets clogged up on your little cutter, you just go like this. You use your finger. I told Annie yeah. the other day, I, I mean this morning. Stuff, but I do have clean hands. She does wash her hands, but we were, she had to put her finger, she had to lick the bowl, and I told her that she had to stick her finger in the cheesecake because it would not be nearly as good had oh, no. Annie not oh, no. put her finger in that batter before we pour that batter into that fine crust that Annie made. Annie made that cheesecake crust with uh, pecans and ginger snaps. Um, what, what else did you use, Annie? Uh, pecans, ginger snaps, sh uh, dark brown sugar. Dark brown sugar. And, um, no, I didn't in the crust. I, did, I used just regular granulated sugar in the crust and mm. butter. And butter. And some ginger. Now, Annie, is this going to... Is this going to be where it's all going to end up, little little balls like little peas, or is it going to is it going to have kinda, flour? Kind of mix it in there. It's going to look a little floury because we have a little more shortening to add. Okay. And I'm going to I forgot to get the ice water ready. I'm going to go do that. Okay. Cut that. In. Okay. Well, while we do this, <coughs> flour is not that tasty by itself. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we're back. 
Here we are. All right. Andy. We have the shortening cut into the flower. Looks beautiful. I can see that it's kind of like little peas. Yeah. And now we're going to mix the dough with ice water. Okay. Let's watch that. How, why do we do that? We do that because that keeps the shortening firm. Oh. To have the ice water in there. And okay. It, and it hold together better. And mm -hmm. usually what I do, it, 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 for this amount, it takes about four to five tablespoons of water. And I usually just put them in two at a time and mix. Some mm -hmm. people do it one at a time, but that takes too long. Okay. So. Now you're just going to stir it. You're just going to stir it. So no of, cutting, stirring. No, stir, no cutting, just kind of folding it over, kind of mixing it up because you want every little morsel there to be touched by a little drop of water so it'll hold together. Okay. So that's two so far, so let's try three. Okay. okay. And four. Whoop, that's hot. It's okay, hot. Hot. It's all right. This isn't exact. You just kind of do it till it looks like it's going to chunk together. This isn't ready yet. Chomp. What, what do you mean? Like hold together. See, it's okay. starting to come away from the sides and kind of become more um, of like a pasty kind of a More like batter. something that you think you could put into a ball. That may be enough. We'll try it and see. And you just kind of get your hands down in there and kind of just check and see. And this looks like it's going to be good. And what you want to do is take part of the dough, about half of it, and make a little ball out okay. of it. All right. And then flatten that out to make your dough disc so it'll be easier to roll. A dough disc, that's what you call that? Oh, that's what I call it. I don't think, I don't know if that has a real name or not. <laughs> a dough disc. I like and it. And we're going to put these dough discs in the refrigerator just for a short time. Okay, you're wrapping it in wax paper. I'm wrapping it in wax paper. But doesn't get dough all over my refrigerator. Okay, all right. And another? And another dough ball is fixing to come out. Okay, good. You're scooping it up uh, out of the bowl, the yep. dough itself. All right. Form the ball. the ball. Okay. All right. And then flattening it into a disc. Okay. And a lot of people make pie crust and then freeze the dough balls. Oh yeah? And then thaw them and um, roll out the dough and continue making the pie that way. But to me, it's so easy to make pie crust. It's just as easy to do it each time. I, I just think that's fascinating. I've never seen anybody make pie crust before except Annie. She does it so good. And it's going to pop good. this in the refrigerator. Not the freezer, right? Just no, the refrigerator? No, no, just the refrigerator. Just to get it a little chilled because my hands have been handling that and that kind of makes the the fat in there, the butter and the shortening kind of melt a little bit, so. Okay, so we'll be back in a minute, Annie. That was very good. Good. All right, see you folks in a minute.